When we view the golf swing as a dynamical system, we start to appreciate all the interconnected parts and also the, the function of good variability and the, the body or, or the brain's ability to self-organize, which is absolutely crucial because we don't, we don't stand to the ball the same distance each time. I, I know we probably think we do, but if we were to stand half an inch further back, it doesn't mean we're going to catch it out the toe. The, you know, the brain works that out and self-organizes. It means we can tailor our technique to uh, different environments. We can play off sloping lines. We can play from the rough. We can hit different shots with pretty much you know, the same kind of basic movement pattern. But if the, if the body is always self-organizing around the task, it also means that we first of all need to really understand the task and also keep our attention on the right areas. So for example, let's imagine you have a player who is um, constantly standing up and topping the ball and the coach is saying, you know, keep down, let's, let's, let's work on your posture, let's keep your knees bent. But in the back of that player's mind, they think to get the ball in the air, they need to kind of get under it and lift it. Oh, well, guess what? They're, they are always going to self-organize around that motion and try and lift the ball in, in the air. So that's the importance of really, really understanding the task and also keeping our attention in the right place.